In today's episode, you'll learn how to choose a category for your podcast. Welcome to Podcasting Q&A, where you learn the best tips and strategies to launch, grow, and monetize your podcast. This week's question comes from Will. Hey guys, my question is about categories. So my podcast is called The Skeptic Metaphysician, and it really tackles things from the spiritual metaphysical world for those who are interested in the topic but aren't quite convinced that this stuff exists. And looking in the different categories, I can find religion, I can find education, I can find health and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't, I don't find any, anything that's exactly specific to my category, which is metaphysics. How would you go about selecting the best category for your podcast, especially podcasts like that? I appreciate your help. Thanks for your question, Will. Now, a podcast category is a useful piece of information when you're setting up your podcast. It also helps directories like Apple Podcasts make your show more discoverable to the listeners that would love it the most. The good news is you can choose more than one category for your podcast. In places like Apple Podcasts, you choose one main podcast category and then some subcategories for your show. However, the main category is most important. Here are some questions that you can consider as you're picking your podcast category. Question number one is, what is your show primarily about? Now, it sounds like, Will, you have multiple topics on your show, and that's great. But try to focus on the main topic or a topic that you really want to focus on for your podcast. Then, once you figure that out, you can use that as your main podcast category, and all of the other topics can be your subcategories. For example, if you have a podcast that teaches kids how to start their own dog walking or pet sitting business, there are multiple categories that could fit. For example, kids and family, business, or even pets and animals. So in this case, maybe business might be the best category because it primarily talks about starting and launching a business. Question number two is what kind of audience are you trying to attract? Now, in my previous example about a podcast for dog walking or pet sitting, I can use the category kids and family because the intended audience is for kids. So that someone who wants to find a kid-friendly podcast can then find it in that category. Question number three is what is your show most similar to? Now that you've got some topics and some ideas for what your show is going to be about, and even some episode ideas that you have, go ahead and poke around in podcast directories like Apple Podcasts or even Google Podcasts to see if there are shows that are similar, and go ahead and look at what categories they have, and you can use that in yours as well. Now, if you have a podcast and you're not sure which categories is best for it, leave a comment down below and we'll help you come up with a few ideas of where you can put it. Here are two bonus tips on how to pick a category for your podcast. Bonus tip number one is to get as specific as possible. So directories like Apple Podcasts have main categories and subcategories. So click around the subcategories to see if you can get even more specific with where you should put your podcast. Bonus tip number two is to try to pick a category that is not as crowded. Now keep in mind you still want your show to be in a category that's related to what your show is about. But the reason you want to put your show in a less crowded category is because there's less competition, which makes it easier for your show to be discovered by new listeners who will then listen and start to love your show. Chances are, if you're picking a category for your podcast, you're just getting started on your podcasting journey. The good news is we have a video that walks you step by step on how to start a podcast to help you cross the T's and dot the I's to make sure you're not missing anything. So to check out that video, click on the link in the show notes or find it right here. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you. And as always, keep podcasting.